Hey there everyone, it's Matt and today I just received my air cork wine preserver. Now this has been seen as I believe the wine balloon on Shark Tank maybe a few months ago and I was so interested in this I decided I had to have it. It seems like a great idea because I drink wine just like many people do. My favorite is red. Uh, I know others, fr my friends their favorite's white, but it works on anything, of course. But what I want to do is I just want to start with unboxing this. Comes in a nice box, and I did get the extra wine balloon. Let's see if it's going to be worth it or not. I really hope it is, because it seems like a great idea. So, of course, here you have the face, and you have simple instructions. Insert, inflate, refresh. It says enjoy just a glass or two, that's why you bought it. And it shows you again simple steps to do it. A nice picture on the back, a QR code, scan with smartphone for more info. Have your barcode and what's in the box. The air, tor the air cork device, storage pouch, and instructions. So, let's see if this is easy and if it works. But for now, let's just unbox it. Open it up here. Good plastic inside, keeping everything here. A nice little carrying case to start out with. That's nice, I like that. And here is your wine balloon. So, let me practice. I'm pumping it. And I assume this would go right in my bottle. And I believe when you press this, it lets all the air out. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to take a look at the manual or the instructions. It's pretty simple. It says insert the balloon onto the line here. It says note, do not over inflate. Step, stick the balloon at wine level and inflate at there. And make the width of the balloon touching the edge one and a half inches. Seems simple enough. Care and maintenance. Rinse the balloon in water only. Air cork is not dishwasher safe. Keep out of reach of children. Do not over inflate. So I think that's really good. Basic. I like this carrying case. I would just wrap mine up like this. and just stick it inside so that I can store it without you know everything getting dirty and it has a nice air cork label now before I actually try this I want to say that I like what they've done I know that on Shark Tank the uh, inventor of the air cork did agree with one of the sharks to produce this but I found out I believe over the internet in an article that that agreement fell through. He still owns the entirety of this air cork or the wine balloon as it was called. And you know everything that you buy goes directly to him. No part goes to anybody else. So I think that's really good. It's good to support this guy. I think it was a great idea. But I think the only thing I have left to do is try it out. So what I'm going to start with is I already have an open bottle which I've stuck the cork back in as you can see. I'm just going to remove the cork and I want to stick the wine balloon in and see how far it can go. This is wine that I'm no longer going to drink anymore so I'm going to pour it out until maybe about here so that we can see exactly how it works. So we have that right here at a good level. We're going to take the wine cork, the air cork, sorry, the wine preserver out of it and do as the instructions say. Step one, simply lower the balloon, the balloon end into the bottle until just at the top of the surface of the wine. All right, so we have it right there as you can see. 
as you pump the balloon floats and seals itself to the side of the bottle providing an airtight seal. So starting to pump it up and it is floating on top. And right now, step three being, when you're ready to enjoy another glass, simply squeeze the valve right here until the balloon completely deflates. Lift it out of the bottle, blot it dry, and rinse it off. Store your air cork in a convenient storage pouch. So what I'm gonna do, it's a little messy over here, but I wanna turn the bottle of wine upside down just to show, hopefully to show, that no wine comes out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera right here so we can see everything. And let's hope I don't get wine stains over everything. It works. It works perfectly. And as opposed to, I don't think I put the um, balloon low enough, but it's supposed to be an airtight seal and this already, even if doing it wrong, it, there's only this much air to oxidize the wine. And I'd say it's a lot better than having this whole area there, you know, making your wine old and undrinkable after a while. So I think this is a great idea. And I still have enough wine to drink. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this here for a while and I'm gonna see if this wine still tastes good. I'm leave it for a few days. And then I'm going to pull this little thing out and hopefully this wine tastes as well as it does because I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer than I would a normal bottle with a cork just to see if the wine preserver or the air cork does anything, you know, does as it says. So I'm back now. It's been a few days and we have our air cork still inside. Everything is still sealed up and I think it's doing a good job so far. At least it looks like it's working. Let's do the taste test and let's see if this actually works. So as the instructions say, let me get the box. When you're ready to enjoy another glass, like I said earlier, simply squeeze the valve until the balloon completely deflates. And there we go. Now it's a tiny little balloon. Empty it over here so we don't get red wine over everything. I'm gonna wash it off like it says to do. Because if this works, this is gonna be one of my favorite things. And I'm not going to uh, let this go to waste. So I'm just gonna set this right here for right now have my glass. I like wine. I really don't know the glass types that you're supposed to put it in. This is what I had to use. So wine smells good. Now this, this isn't a very expensive bottle of wine, but you know, it'll go bad just like any other. This is Turning Leaf. This is a Pinot Noir. This is a 2010 California. If anyone ever asks, you know, it's a great, great little wine to have. I believe this all is at Wegmans and a Giant. So, I'm going to pour some in. Again, if I'm pouring this wrong, you let me know. So, everything looks good here. And, I'm going to move the camera so you can see me. So, you can see me actually. Uh, oh, by the way, that's my cuckoo clock that my parents like to keep here. So, Real glass of wine, real person. We're gonna see if this is this is good or not. Smells good. Wow. This does not taste any different. Wow.
That's really good. This is as good as the day I put the air cork in. Okay. I guess that proves it. Protect your wine against oxidation with confidence. The air cork provides an airtight seal to any level within the bottle. Yes, it does. It works. It looks really cool with this little grape pump design. You can order multiple balloons for cheap. I believe this whole package came for about uh, mid-twenties and with shipping it's not much more. I'm not sure what the price is now. Today is May 23rd, 2012, but it's very nice. And it, it came relatively quickly. I believe it came a few days ago and I saw it. I just wanted to show everyone, but it's nice and the wine still tastes great. I have some more. Excellent. All right, so this has been Matt, and I have been reviewing the air cork. I believe previously called the wine balloon that was shown on Shark Tank. It's a simple little device that will make your wine last longer. If you like wine, I 100% suggest you get this because it tastes the same. It doesn't taste any sharper or anything worse than it did before. So check it out. This has been Matt doing a review of the air cork. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you'd like me to review anything specifically, comment here. Find me on WordPress, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere you can find me. But I'm here to do reviews. I'm here to make your life easier. Here to make you help you make the decisions to help you have the best experience in life. And I'll see you next time.